Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you a brand new series called Ipovolemia, a mod pack by Kathleen. So time for a new pack, we're almost done with the other one and I've been thinking, talking about this one and I know I said it was regrowth but after doing a little bit of research I figured out that it was Ipovolemia because Kathleen I think one of the first mod pack I played was Galactic Science which was made by Kathleen and this one's amazing like there are some bugs in it but it's a finished pack in the sense that nothing ever going to be added to it and I'm going to show you how to bypass the broken parts and I feel like we're going to have a lot of fun with it so I'm going to start off and once I'm going to start off I'm going to be attacked by creatures because that's how the start always is and I'm going to start getting a lot of stuff a lot of bones and skulls and then once we're sat down well while we're doing this I'm going to be talking about the pack but then when we're settled for the night we're going to start looking at the quest book and start reading the quest book but before that it's one of those packs that's not really survivable well not that death is permanent or a big problem but it's something that we have to be quick about so let's create the world and you'll see so right off the bat, I'm going to start running because I don't know what's around me. Okay, no dogs around me. Usually every time I've tried starting that pack, I had some uh, wolves around me attacking me. Wow, this looks like a great starting position. So we're in a dead barren world and in this dead barren world, there's no more ocean. See the dog right there? Those are the dogs that usually comes for you when the game starts. Um, so this is blood this is not water and it doesn't have the same property of water of duplicating itself it's really really blood and you have these custom really awesome oh no already an enemy get out of the way really it's like okay so he won't get into the sun because he's afraid so we're gonna start getting some bones and some uh some bones and some uh, skeleton head and what we really need to do right now is find a safe place for the night mm, let me grab that don't want to kill the skeleton because uh, can I like, I don't oh why is he not on fire this is really dumb what I'm doing right now but that's going to be an action attack uh mud pack okay so i survived but holy cow i don't know why he wasn't on fire i thought i was going to hit him once and he would get on fire and he would die quickly so i didn't think that was going to be such a dangerous ordeal anyway okay so like i was saying this is a dead world and we're going to have to try and bring it back to life using blood magic like this is this mod pack was my first time ever playing with blood magic and it is a weird one it's cool but it's weird it's basically we're going to build a blood altar and there's going to be spells and things to make our character stronger and make us better it's it's really it's really a cool concept and blood magic is still alive and strong today being maintained and taken care of unfortunately this mod pack's a bit old so it's not on the latest version but still it, it's really great okay so for sure we want to be close to uh blood and the reason we want to be close to blood we're going to need a ton of blood for a blood altar and we also don't want to be too far from our starting point because when we die and yes we are going to die at some point we're gonna to have to walk all the way back because we're not going to be getting a bed anytime soon like probably three four maybe five episodes before we get to a bed and even then I'm not 100% sure that it's going to happen like always I'm going to uh, try and give you the fastest best way to progress and that's why we have this weird start where I'm just trying to gather as much material as possible basically i have enough bones but i want to make sure that i get enough skulls because 
you can put bones and skulls in the altar to have different uh, resources. And you're going to see it's all about using the blood altar and it's all about putting materials in the blood altar to transform it. So for now, we're just harvesting as many resources as possible. And we're also trying to find a good spot. So my definition of a good spot is an easily defensible position, first of all, and a lot of blood because, like I said, we're going to need uh, a lot of blood. And at some point, there's going to be a way of pumping blood directly in the altar, just not straight off. Like, I think that I'm able in the first episode to get to the point where we get our first semi blood pumping automation, but there's no guarantee. Oh, let me get that skull. The skulls are the most important one because the skulls are the one that's going to give us our first cobblestone that are going to give us our first uh, dirt and stuff like that. The bones are a bit less important due to the fact that they don't have as many use and we already have three stacks. So that's not gonna be a big problem. Let me grab this, let me grab this, and there's more skull up here. So when you break the bone blocks, there's a chance of dropping a skull. And what I would like to try and get to is I'd like to get to at least 64 skull. And I think that I found my spot where I'm going to stay overnight because one of the pro, oh yes, look at this beautiful island. So. One of the reason is when night comes, there's going to be mob spawnings everywhere and we don't have armor, we don't have a weapon, we barely have anything to survive. So it's really a question of, we need to be able to get through the night and then once the first night has passed, things are going to start getting just a little bit easier. Still not perfect, but a bit easier. So I'm trying to get as many of these pillars as possible. And by the way, this red rock, there are two types of red rock. There's these red rock and there's these red rock. One of them, when you break with a pickaxe, they don't give you anything. And one of them gives you a type of cobblestone. But the other weird thing also is that this red rock is not opaque completely. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is if I put a wall made out of cobblestone, and like they make a small three by three cabin all enclosed with cobblestone, well, there's not going to be any light in. But when you're using the red rock, some of the light is going to get through. So if you need a fully dark place for a mob spawner, red rock is not your thing. It's not gonna work well. You're going to need cobblestone for that. But there's multiple way of doing cobblestone. There's the good old fashioned Minecraft uh, water and lava way, but I don't know if we're going to get to that in the first episode. Maybe because we really need to start getting some uh, cobblestone because cobblestone is the basis of everything blood magic. Okay, so we're good here. We're good here. I'm going to grab whatever I can. I feel like we still have time, but I don't know how much time. And being hungry is not a good thing in this pack because we're going, to, at the beginning, we're going to have to use our life essence to try and uh, keep a lot, uh, to uh, feed the altar. So I'm going to cross over and don't stay in the water too long or you take damage, re well, it's not water, it's blood. So don't stay in the water, uh, the blood too long because you're going to take damage. So you see, this is a perfect island. I, th like, I would like to be on this island, but I think this one might be a bit too big and if it's a bit too big mobs are going to spawn like I don't have torches to begin with so second night I'm going to be able to use this island but for the first night I'm going to have to be on the other island so I'm just going to grab a couple of things from this uh, island and then we're going to transfer to the smaller one because in the beginning we don't need a really big island and then you guys are going to say well mobs can uh, go through water yes they can but once they go through water they don't just arrive and attack you immediately they give you have a chance of hearing them you have a chance of intercepting them and you have a chance of hurting them because right now i don't have a weapon so whatever i use is not going to damage them a lot but at least it's going to give me a little bit of security because i'm going to have to use my own life essence my own blood and that's going to weaken me so i i don't want to be like 
one hit away from dying every time. So I'm going to take these last two or three blocks and then we're going to get on the other island and we're going to start questing. Well, let me get that. Perfect. And, well, might as well take these three. And it's a series of island. Oh, this is really a cool place to start. Really? I, I'm really happy about the seed. So, first off, let's get off this island and we'll get to the other one right here. It's a bit too small, but it's going to be a safe place for the first night. So, let's just get here and... Perfect. Let's go and look at things, and this is not important, not important. These quest book are not important. Grab one quest book. Oh, uh, they don't they don't stack anymore. Anyway, so as you look around, you wonder where you are. For some mysterious reason, you cannot recall what happened or how you got here. In the distance, you hear a piercing scream, then absolute silence. Ipovolina. So that's the good old HQM, and there's like 15 quest lines. So we're not going to run out of quests soon. Some are really hard, but one of the reasons I chose this one also is that I like that it has mechanism, uh, a type of blood magic add-on, sanguinemancy, techno, uh, technomancy, tomcraft, I'm eh, forbidden knowledge, I don't know so much, draconic, like... There's a lot of stuff in here that I don't know and I'm really happy to learn. So, did I die? Where am I? So, the basic of all the magic you will explore and experience, time to get started. Hell, this can't be heaven. The oceans are blood. The world is a wasteland. There are even bone pillar. What is this place? A task where we needed one bone, one skull, this and we get our blood. first torch, which <laughs> we need to get you stable. The altar must be filled with blood. You can use the sacrificial knife to convert your life points into blood. I forgot. Later on, you will find better ways to fill the altar. How about but that? this is how it starts out. You can then put items into the altar with a right click. Doing this manually restricts you to one item at a time in the altar. The altar will show some bubbles to show it is working. If you don't have enough blood for the conversion, the altar will simply use up all the blood and you will get nothing well the original item back so always have enough blood or be ready to add some while the altar is working later on you can insert multiple items with a hopper of course this makes it even <laughs> harder to have enough blood av available even later you will be able to craft items that will aid you in this like the altar diviner that will only put in as many items as the altar can handle with its blood level there are items that convert into items that can be converted to Convertception It's important to either automate the altar correctly or have an eye on it to take the item out when it is converted to the item you want to have actually The different tiers of the altar structure are hard to explain We suggest you check the FTB wiki for it Oh and you're done talking so this is one of the things that might be a bit annoying for a YouTube series, but I want you guys to get the lore and the text and everything. So whenever this guy starts talking, I'm going to let you be able to listen to it. It's part of the journal right here, and we have two pages, one about blood magic and one about welcome to hypovolemia. So we're going to be adding pages to that through quests. So it, next quest, feels familiar yet different. What are those weird pillars everywhere? What are they used for? Time to find out. We need to make a crafting table. By the way, comment from my last series. If I mouse over and I press R, I get to see what the recipe is. So four bones. So let's go with four bones and make a crafting table. We're just going to make sure it's detected and it's going to give us apple. And old HQM, things don't stack number one. <laughs> Uh, now that it's detected, I prefer making the crafting station. I find that much easier to use. Perfect. Let's look at the next quest. Maybe if I regret my sins, I could make an altar out of those bones and skulls. Whatever God feels to, God feels to hear my regret better get me out of here. Blood altar, which is made with eight bones around a skeleton skull. Now, this is going to give me three lore page. So, 
it's going to start talking to me the moment I do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the quest around because while the guy is talking, I'm going to start doing the quest. So once we put the altar down, we're going to need a way of putting uh, blood in it. So here we have the gods won't hear me, perhaps if I offer something, but what do I have I could offer? Maybe I could just make myself and end with those and end with those sharp bones. So we'll make a sacrificial knife, which can be made with two bone and a skeleton skull. So once we use the knife, we can right click. Let's say that this is the knife. We can right click and it's going to break one heart and put a hundred life LP life point, low blood point. I don't know the name, but it's going to put some in our altar. Okay. And we're going to need it to transform things. Then it's going to want us to make uh, dirt. I think some god sent me a sign. If I feel some kind of power emitting from the altar, maybe it needs something else sacrificed. Note, take out quickly when you see what you want. So this wants us to make dirt, five specifically. And the way to make dirt, well, we have a magical crop in there, but there's also, uh, by putting a skeleton skull, and 100 LP. So one heart is 100 LP. So it's one transformation of a skull to dirt. And the reason it's saying uh, to take it out as soon as possible is that dirt has a second level. And the second level of dirt is with 200 LP, it becomes gravel. So if I let it continue, it's going to burn my LP and go to gravel. And gravel also has a, a second, a third output. Gravel will become sand and sand will become cobblestone and cobblestone will become netherrack and netherrack will become endstone and endstone seems to be the end of the road but if you look at the quest line pretty obvious that it's showing you how to get there so to make our furnace right here so cold. I thought hell was hot. It's not. I should make something to warm myself and stuff. To make a furnace, we're going to need cobblestone. And cobblestone, we're going to get with LP with making cobblestone like this. And that's why I was talking about being on an island. We can hear a mob somewhere. Don't know where it is. It's pretty close. You know what? I think I have... Oh, it's right there. I have time to make the altar and it's going to start talking. And I'm going to put the altar down right here. And okay, now I'm going to have to deal with this guy. With half a heart of damage every time you hit them, this is not fast. So I'm also going to make the sacrificial dagger. And by the way, the sacrificial dagger, it doesn't hurt the mob. Perfect. So right here, look in the altar. There's no blood. And look, if I hit him, it doesn't really do much damage. So I'm going to right click and there's 100 LP in the uh, altar. And it didn't start talking because I didn't think that I didn't have to collect the quest. Well, I was kind of dumb. I didn't have to go through all of this. Perfect. Okay. And where's my blood? Oh, yes. Okay, so the altar has a buffer. So the blood that you put in the beginning needs to fill the buffer. So I'm going to do all of this and I'm going to regen. And the moment this turns into dirt, click. You need to click with an empty end. Then I'm going to put a second one and wait. So I'm going to get my five dirt and then. You know what? Let's collect the other quest just because we'll get the lore page. The guy's going to start talking and while he's talking, I'm going to make more dirt. And then from the dirt, I'm going to make a gravel. And from the gravel, I'm going to make a couple. So I'm just going to be collecting these in a the line. There's this quest that we can uh, claim. So I'm going to claim it and he's going to start talking. So get ready and listen. To plant seeds in this pack, you must make crop sticks. Place them on top of farmland and you can grow your seeds. Place crop sticks two times to make them cross. This is used to mutate the seeds adjacent to the cross. Mutations, soils, and products can be found in the NEI. Okay, so it only read the lore page about 
magical crop, which I'm kind of surprised, well, Agricraft, I think, about actually using. So, life and flowers. So, didn't read this one. Don't know why. Food. Some sapling ready. Okay. Uh, blood magic. Planting seeds. So, it decided to read this one. Don't know why, but that's the one that it read. And we have another mob incoming, but we have our f five dirt, so let's collect that. So right here, and I'm going to take the golden apple, because golden apple have more regeneration, and at some point we're going to need a bit more regeneration. I don't want to hurt myself too much, because if I get hit once by the zombie, I'm going to take damage, and I really don't want to die. And the moon is going down, which means that the mobs are going to die soon, which means we're going to be able to move on to the next step. I was looking around because I didn't like the sounds that I was hearing, but we're going to be able to uh, continue with progression in a moment. So the only problem I see right now with my idea is these stupid skeleton. Oh boy, because since they're in water, they're not going to burn. So those are not going to be fun to kill. Anyway, let's continue with the questing because at this point, that's what we have to do. So it now wants us to make a gravel. So now we're going to put one in. But this one in that we put, we're going to let it continue past. So first 100 LP made the dirt. Oh, this was burning. Thank you. And then another 200 LP is going to give us the gravel. Uh, let's go. Gravel. So that's, I think the second quest was only one. Yeah. So again, always pick the golden apple in the beginning. And it's very simple. Why? You can make apple easily. <laughs> Perfect. So next step is cobblestone. So now we're going to put another one in here. And we're going to leave it there until we get our first cobblestone. Uh, how many cobblestone does... Only one. Great. Okay. So we have dirt. I'm going to grab one dirt. And I'm going to put it down right here. And I'm going to craft my first sapling. So I know this recipe by heart. But it does request you to make a sapling. Isn't there a quest for the sapling? Yes, there was a quest for the sapling. So I could press R on this and it would show me. That this is how you make the sapling so now I, at least i can put the sapling and the beauty of all those bones is i can go like this get some bone wow Ooh, take it up take it up we have our first couple stone so let's heal herself let's put the next skeleton skull and put some uh life essence so this is going to give me two hertz seat two water seat to the another sapling don't want to claim this right now and the reason I don't want to claim this right now is don't need it right now and I don't want to take the inventory space perfect so while this is transforming into cobblestone we're going to harvest our first wood oh, it fell into the water so that's the one thing I didn't plan because it's kind of deep around here hey getting wood but wood is not good in this so now I'm going to show you something else. Let me grab all of this wood. I remember discovering this mod pack the first time. And I just thought it was so awesome. Because it was so different than anything else. Like this whole idea of transforming resource. The only problem with it is that in the beginning. It's kind of labor intensive. So now more sapling. Do this and continue breaking. We're going to get some more wood. And my, what I want to do right now is I really want to progress to a furnace as soon as possible so that I can make torches because I want the big island. This island is way too small to, to do any kind of semi-permanent setup and I just want to be able to transfer as soon as possible. Like, I don't want to spend another night on this small island. So ugh, I'm not being efficient though. So let's do this and we're at Let's go see the quest. You know what? Before we see the quest, put one in. So let's look at the quest. This is going to give us three cobblestone. And you know what? For once, I'm going to take the 10 more. This totally makes sense to me. So now I can come here and I can do first a furnace, like so. And put it here. And now I'm going to deal with the issue that I was talking to you about. Wood. 
So if I transform wood, I don't get plank, I get oak wood splinter. I'm gonna wait to get my cobblestone here and I'm going to show you how to transform oak wood splinter. Uh, yes, it does say hit here. It says oak wood plank and you get oak wood splinter. You know what? It wants us to make some more. So it's, it wants 12, let's do it like this. So put it in, grab it in, grab it. This, do you see there's no particle effect? Because there's no second step to wood. So there's no rush. You can leave wood in there and it's not going to do anything bad. It's There's only certain resource that transform. And by the way, the reason I don't mind the apple, if you put a sapling in, you get an apple. So that's why I always pick the gold apple. Those are the one that matters. <coughs> so now that I've done this, I can put this, oh, not like this. <sighs> Hello, I wanna make charcoal. So I'm gonna put this here and I'm gonna put this here and then I'm going to grab some more bone, bone meal. And basically I'm trying to make some more so that I can get, like I said, I want to get to the other island and spawn torches on it so that I don't have a problem. So put the next one in because I want my next cobblestone. We need a lot more cobblestone in the beginning and let's just continue like that. And grab the street. So uh, in the beginning, there's a lot of uh, resource gathering. These are like all like all packed. There's always a lot of resource. Oh, no. There's a, always a lot of resource gathering in the beginning. The thing that's important is to always keep healing and always keep putting blood in the altar and always be careful to I almost overclicked and I almost damaged myself. So grab this put the next one in continue getting wood and this and i think that by now i should get my torches so i should be good after this tree i'm going to start move I, i'm going to look into moving stuff away perfect i still have some time so this is all going to become wood so i'll do this and once this is done I'll just grab it and then I should be able to start looking at into moving to the other island. It even looks like the um, skeletons disappeared. I don't know how or why, but you know, sometimes those there are those things that you just don't complain about, like just feel lucky and happy and move on. So one of the things I'm going to do though, is I'm going to leave this, uh, uh, this torch here because I don't really want mobs to spawn on this small island. It's too close to my other island. And I'm also trying to get as much blood out. And in the beginning, blood is so hard that to, to get because it's only from your life essence that I'm not going to um, be putting more blood in this altar because I want to move it. I'm just trying to get as much wood as possible. Oh, it's already up, perfect. Couldn't be better. So let's grab this, let's grab this, let's come here. We're going to make two sets of stick. So that's going to be my 32 torches. Great. And I can, I also have enough to make a pickaxe like so. One, two pickaxe and also a, an ax. And now I can just go, give me this, give me this give me the table perfect grab this and in this mod pack you can press f7 and so you see this is not good i wanted to leave only one torch but one torch is not enough i'm going to put a torch here and a torch there this island will not be spawning mob so now i'm going to move to this small island here and i'm going to go like this and now i'm going to move to the big island and on the big island that's the one that I'm going to need to spawn torches on because I don't want any mob, oh, not like this, on this island. So one of the problem is that you cannot have a torch in your hand because if you have a torch in your hand, you're basically lighting the places you go. So you always have to take the torch out of your hand to find, of, out of your end to find the next step. Well, not the next step, the next place to put one and always verify after if you're good. 
perfect right here right here right oh see no that's not good that left the spot so right here right here hmm i don't know that i have enough i must i must have enough i made 32 so let's just continue like this like this i really want to make sure that no mob is going to spawn because i need to be able to work through the night without having any problem and i'm not going to have enough torches okay so i need to make some more torches so i'm going to come right here i don't want to have two level on this island oh boy i'm going to need a lot more torches i feel let me just do this making a little bit of space and now by the way as you've seen we've been getting some uh red cobblestone so i can at least start filling in some places like this and now i'm going to put a furnace down right here i'm going to put the this right here and you know what it's time for chest let's go chest and chest ah <sighs> okay i'm starting to feel a little bit better and i'm going to grab this blood altar I'll put that here and I can start making, ooh, no, I don't have more wood. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grow my next wood just to be able to continue making torches. So I'm just going to go right here make a little spot because like I said, I want this island to be one level only. I don't want any stepping steps or anything like I just want a normal one level island. I can put this here. I'm going to grab the bone meal and oh my god it's already getting late I might be screwed I might have made a small mistake I'm just going to grab whatever I can right now come on come on come on, come on. that's going to be four and that's going to be enough for a couple of torches again so put this here and put this here and just look around like i feel like i might be lucky and it won't spawn but i'm really not sure about what i'm saying let me just get some more and then we're going to continue questing because at this point uh, we really need to quest fast so that we can progress to automating the altar because this whole stabbing ourselves with the sacrificial dagger it's not a good solution long term at all so perfect no oh god so put this here and let's go to the altar and you need to be close enough when you're doing the altar pricking thing because if you're not close enough uh you're just wasting blood it's just not doing anything let me grab that and that and perfect and that's going to oh i had some here so the reason i was rushing is i wanted to be able to cook the next one by putting this like that and i can go like so and like so and this perfect so now just to be 100 percent sure not that i think that i need it i'm just going to make sure that the rest of the island is lit up yeah um yep right here and right here and then I'm just going to get rid of, if you remember, that's one of the pillar that I collected in the beginning. I'm just going to get rid of the rest of that pillar so that I can put some torches down. And that's going to be good. Like so, like so, and like so. And if you look on the mini map top right, no mobs around. I'm in a good spot. So I'm all good. Whatever mobs there are are spawned here and in the beginning uh, at some point i'm not gonna mind having mobs around but i'm not for now so let's just continue put some in here because again you have to always be healing and now we can continue so you saw how easy it was to make apples so i'm gonna grab the bone even though i have a lot of bones all those bones where are they coming from did a war happen here perhaps the gods have a has a use for it so now we also did this the so-called so this one is the important one okay so here i don't care about the apple i don't care about the torch 
I want the ministerial block, but I also want these. These are super important. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create myself a little basement because I need a place to put these things down and I need to make sure that I have cobblestones. Yeah, perfect. I have cobblestones. So let's go and let's make ourselves a little basement. So I'm going to go in like so. And the reason I'm making myself a little basement is I need a place that's fully dark. And by fully dark, I mean like um, red, uh, not red, what? Yes, red. What am I trying to say? Like uh, red X is dark. So I'm just going to come right here, make a little three by three. Uh, I might make it bigger than that. So I'm going to go one more. So three, four, and that's going to be five. And then I'm going to go cobblestone, 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 cobblestone all around here. And now I'm going to grab the torch and I'm going to put the torch further back. And see, I have red spots now, red spots all around. This is good. So now I can go iron, iron, gold. And for the other ones, I'm just going to put one of each gold, copper and tin. So these are ore berry bushes. So now I'm going to grab this torch and I'm going to leave this in perfect darkness. And we're going to come back here later once it's grown. So now we can go back. I'm just going to get rid of a couple of things I don't need. I don't need this things. I don't need the Minicio. Don't need this apple. And we can continue questing. <clears throat> Perfect. So we got, got this done, which is going to give us some earth seed and I want to plant these down. So we're going to need two things. We're going, to, well, two things. First, we're going to need more wood because we're going to need crop stick. So let's get more wood for now. And all of the seeds, if you remember the, um, when I collected the quest, oh, I want to keep the lore book on me so that when I get pages, they get added to the lore book. Sorry. So when we, the, the quest talk had said that all seeds needed to be planted on crop sticks. So that's the next step that we're going to need to do because I want to plant these down because those are going to give us resources. So let me just break this, this. And I'm keeping as always an eye on the uh, right, uh, on the minimap because there is a chance ever so slightly that a mob might spawn in our downstairs room where we're hoping the ores are going to grow and if that happens i want to be aware of it asap because i don't want to die because right now let's say that i die which is not the end of the world because there's going to be a grave and we're going to be able to get our material back but we're going to respawn exactly where we first spawn into this world which means we're not going to be anywhere close to this base and it's the middle of the night so uh, you can end up being in a situation where you'll chain die so let me just grab all of this and make planks get rid of this and let's just do a little bit more wood oh sorry i clicked too far and you did see it didn't add any um blood in the altar so let's just go this is Mouse roll, click, mouse roll, click, click, just as fast, well, as fast as I can. I need for it to wait to transform, but I'm getting my wood so I can get some resource so I can start building stuff. So it's going to grab all of this. And then we're going to be able to make another pickaxe and more crop stick. Uh, no, I don't have any more cobblestone. Okay, so... Next up, we're going to be uh, making more cobblestone. And the cobblestone's annoying just because of the, the three levels that it takes. It takes a lot for, first of all, it takes a lot of blood. And second of all, it's a long time. So it's 100 for the first one, 200 for the second one. I think it's then four. I think it always double, although I'm not sure. And each heart is 100 LP, so it's expensive. So in the beginning, when you only live on your uh, life point or life blood or 
Now, I think LP is life point, I'm pretty sure. So grab this, perfect. Let's put the next one. Perfect, like so. And continue with the wood harvesting. So now I want tree cobblestone because I want to um, I want to make the next pickaxe and maybe I should use my axe because this is going to be much faster. I did waste the three cobblestone to make the axe. I might as well use it. So next one. I'm not going to use the axe on leaves because there's no gain and I don't want to uh, spend the axe. I'm here. Oh, take it up, take it up. This is so annoying like, that you have to be precise. We're going to have a solution for that later. Don't worry. I'm trying, to, like, I'm kind of hoping that I can get to the solution before the end of the episode, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let me grab this, this, and the bone meal. Just trying to keep an eye on the resource at the same time. So in the beginning, it's really a management of your life points, your lifeblood, and about making sure that you're always using the altar to the maximum that you can because the altar is the limiting factor in the beginning. So I'm going to grab the next cobblestone and then I'm going to be able to put the uh, resources down. Perfect. So now that I have the cobblestone, I can make my next pickaxe. Nope, I first need to do this. Now I can make my next pickaxe, like so. And now I'm gonna come right here, finish breaking this, and I'm going to start myself a little garden right here. So one, two, three, four, because we have four seeds. And let's get started. So you know what? I might as well get started in a better fashion. I'm going to go three here and three here. And three here, like so. So I didn't need to break the middle. I'm going to go one, two, three, one, two, three. We're going to need a hoe, but that we can make out of wood. It really doesn't matter. So let's make a hoe. And then we're going to need one, two, three. We're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight crop stick. And the crop stick in this pack is unfortunately a bit expensive because it's four stick to a crop stick, which does kind of make sense. But in most other mud pack that you play with crop stick, you always get way more than that. So now I'm going to put crop sticks in the four corners and I'm going to plant water seed right here, water seed right here. Or it's seed, or it's seed. And the reason I did that is once those are grown, I'm going to be able to make put double crop sticks like this, and I'm going to be able to duplicate the seeds. So this is started. And now we're going to go take a peek downstairs to see if these. Oh, <laughs> beautiful iron ore berry bush. Yes, please. Let's grab that. And we are going to be able to progress as fast as I wanted in the first episode. So we're going to come here and we get the, wait, plants? Of course, they sting me and they hate light. Which plant hates light? Still, there must be a reason that God gave it to me. And if it's just for his amusement seeing me hurt. So we got one iron ore berry and there's something, well, first we can claim the quest, which is going to give us a bucket, which means we can now start grabbing blood and no we can't put the blood in the altar but it's still it's coming so let's come right here the iron ore berry we can cook and iron ore berry usually in mod packs give nuggets or you need to craft four together to get one ingot but here in this mod pack three so yeah that's really really good so let's continue with the quest and now we grab so much blood. Is it my own? What does he want from me to do with it? So it's going to give us a basic fluid tank. And this fluid tank can be filled with blood like so. So this is what you can use the fluid tank. Oh, 
four, like so. And yeah, we're going to start draining this place soon anyway. So the only problem that I have with this is that uh, when it's flowing all weird, it makes the uh, CPU work hard, but it is what it is. So I'm going to take the tank and keep it on me for now because right now it's not going to work. So I'm going to continue with the good old fashioned. So I'm going to grab the blood bucket and I'm going to come back here and I'm going to continue the good old fashioned hurting myself to fill the um, altar. So that was 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 6, 7, 8, 800. And there's already some in there. So I'm going to hope that this is enough because the next step is blood in blood. If he sent me here, perhaps he's the God of blood. I might try to offer blood with blood this time. So the next step is to get a lava bucket and you get lava bucket with fire essence from magical crop or of course from blood in a blood altar for 1500 LP. I'm not sure that I have enough LP in the altar but I think that I might be in enough. So I'm going to put it in and this is also one of those that you have to take out the moment it's finished because this is going to have a second phase, but we want the lava one ASAP. So I'm just going to be waiting for it and grab it immediately and do the quest. And this time I'm going to grab stone because we're going to need stone and I don't want to have to cook it. And I don't, well, not that I don't need the cobblestone all that much. I'm going to fix my cobblestone problem in a moment. So I'm going to come right here and I'm going to make another bucket. And I'm going to look at the next step of the quest right here. So God of Madness, God of Blood, rather God of Madness, Lava. First it was cold, now it's hot here. I'm sweating so much, if only I had some water. So it wants us to make water and it's going to give us a Lava Bucket. So oh, I made a bucket too much. Dirt, that's what happened when you try to go too fast. So how do you get a Water Bucket from Water Essence or alchemical chemistry or lava bucket in a altar. So let's do it and we're going to get the next step. And while we're waiting, uh, I think the water doesn't have a second step. And if it doesn't, I, when I say I think, it's just I don't remember. No, it doesn't have a second step. So see this one? There's no rush to take it out because it's actually not going to continue wasting my LP. There are things where you waste LP, so you have to be careful and take them out ASAP, and there are others that are not that worrisome. So let's grab that, and let's go to the quest, and let's claim... I'm going to grab the potion of regeneration, because that's a bit better, and I'm even going to come here and get rid of... Well, not get rid of those, but I'm going to store those so I don't spend them. And now that we have that done, I'm going to come right here, move this by one, and we're going to make a good old fashioned. Um, you know what? I'm going to put it one above. So I'm going to go like this. This is going to be where I put the lava, which needs to flow here. And this is where I'm going to put the water. Perfect. So, flowing water. Uh, you know what? It's just, I don't know why, but I have a fear that my water might be a bit too close to the lava. So I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to go lava like this, and flowing lava hit water, and cobblestone generator. And the reason I put it above ground is I like to be able to just stand here and click without breaking something behind. And that's why I didn't need the cobblestone. I took the stone because I'm saving a step. Yes, it's 10 cobblestone versus five stone, but see how easy this is? Okay. So we now have a good old cobblestone generator. Let's put some more blood in our altar and let's look at the next level. So here we have essence. Wait. What's this? Can I make something useful out of it? Yes, yes we will, but we need clay. And to make clay, we need two water essence and two earth essence for four clay. Those 
or why these are here and we're just going to let them grow and we're going to use it later. I'm just going to go take a quick look. I want to, in the beginning, I want to harvest this, these or berry bush as much as I can because that's our only source of, uh, of uh, metals for the beginning. So this is good. What's the other step? So I want to do this, gut of jokes, and I want to do it because that's when we start automating our blood. Lava again, he must be joking. I better pour some sand into that before it's boiling me alive. Wants us to make a block of redstone. To make a block of redstone, you need lava with sand. So first, let's grab our sand. And if you remember, sand was one of those, uh, one of the steps of this. I think it's right after, no, it's gonna be gravel. <coughs> then it's going to be sand. So dirt is gonna become gravel. And then gravel is going to become sand. And I just need to make sure that the altar is always working for me. Go, 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 grab it, perfect. And now, I hope I have 1500. Might be making a mistake right here, but I think I'm gonna have enough. Like until we get a sigil to be able to see what's in the blood altar, everything's guesswork, which is kind of, annoying and also at the same oh yeah yeah yeah. gimme give gimme give yes perfect so we're now going to make our block of redstone lava with sand block of redstone but and got the bucket back but the reason we did this we want the configurator because now look at this we're going to take this basic food tank shift click it on top and this is full we're going to use the configurator we're going to shift right click and you see how it changed color and it went down? Look at the number in whale at the top. 12,880, 12,860. It's putting 20 LP per tick or per second. No, per tick, I think. In this altar. So now this can start filling with, um, with blood essence. So we're finally semi-automated. And what I mean by semi-automated is I still need to fill the tank. So if I look at this, this is lost a thousand blood. So I still need to do this sometimes. Come back here and put blood in it, but I don't need to prick myself as much anymore. I can't say not at all because I'm still gonna need to, but not as much. And voila. So this is really like where I wanted to rush at the beginning. Oh, growing things faster. So growth pulser. Uh, did it did one of the quests give me a growth pulser? No, perfect. So let's look at a couple of quests, but it's going to be um, done for this episode. So we want to continue this way, the real hell. So it wants us to make a nether rack. And you know what? These these are simple things. So while we're talking, I'll just put this here and I'll let it become a nether rack. I wonder what I'll get when I offer some cobblestone. So it's going to be one nether rack and it's going to give us three nether rack and a golden apple and a golden apple. I hate that they have the same name, but one is the one with the regeneration. Then we're going to want to do in the end, one last try to turn this into something useful. So we're gonna make one end stone and it's going to give us three. So we're going to get four. Uh, let, let that continue. Where's my ax, where's my bone meal? And while we're waiting, what do I need? Do I need wood more? Eh, I still need some wood. And it's a big tree, of course. So cobblestone. Better get out right now because the moment it's netherrack, I want to grab it. Netherrack. Perfect. So that's another quest done. Like so. Grab the stone. And now I'm going to put the netherrack in. And that's going to give us a dead stone. And the end stone doesn't have a next step. So I'm not stressed by the end stone. It doesn't matter. It's not like if I'm going to lose LP because there's no step after. Grab this, grab this, and put this back. Perfect. And still no end stone. Yeah, perfect. So we now have the end stone, which is the next quest. Like this and voila what's the next quest that we can do okay so the reason i wanted to do this is i want to do this growing plants faster manual 
When I have enough blood in my blood network, I can activate the sigil, sigil with it, a right click and stand near my plants or ore berry. It will let them grow faster. So it wants us to make a sigil of the green grove. And the sigil of the green grove is four in stone around a blank slate. And a blank slate is made with a stone and a blood altar. Which is why I've been starting collecting these stone because I wanted to be able to make blank plates. So let's just put this right here and we're going to make that sigil. And once we have that sigil, I'm just going to show you quickly how it works. And that's going to be that for this episode. This is done. Perfect. Let's come right here. Like so. Four round. Sigil of the green growth. So there's two ways this works. I'm going to right click and it's going to, if you look at my bar at the bottom, the center sigil is going to become yellow and it's going to start applying growth tick to everything around me, but it's going to hurt me. So I'm going to turn it off quickly. So turn it on half a heart after a second, another heart after a second, another heart. So now I'm going to turn it off, but do you see these two group? There's also the instant magic bone meal. If you hold shift and you right click, it takes a heart, but see, two shot and it grew, one shot and it grew. But now that we've done this, we can now start growing these uh, seeds. So these seeds are one, 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 and they can become better seeds by being uh, crossbred like this. But I'm not going to go into too much detail for that today. We're going to go in more detail about that in another episode, but at least we did that. So let's create the reward. <laughs> and the Lord book is not talking. What did we get? Food? No. Life and flower? No. Blood network. So we got this about the blood network and I can start it. Oh, maybe some have not been voiced over. That is a possibility I didn't think of. Let me go look downstairs. And nope. So this is one of those things where I can activate the sigil and it would help them grow. But at this point, I don't really want them to grow. Well, not, not that I don't want them to grow. What am I saying? It's just, it's not important right now. What I can do though, is what I should have done before is we're going to, now that we have more uh, cobblestone, I'm going to plant the others. So let me just go right here. And let's put some more cobblestone like so. And then those two. And now let's do one this way. And if you remember when they were talking about it, they would say that they hurt. Look, if I touch them, they hurt. So now I can take this light off and this is all in the red. So this is going to continue growing. So now I'm going to go into time lapse. And in my time lapse, all that matters right now is getting some more cobblestone and some more wood. So I'm going to start a video and watch a video and I'm probably going to uh, try and make two or three stacks of wood and four or five stack of cobblestone so that once we start the next episode we're just going to be able to progress through these quests. Like what I'd like to do is in two episode finish everything in here which would be amazing because it would be a good start but to be honest I don't know that we'll get the glowstone because the glowstone means the nether and in the best of world, the nether would be like my third episode. And by the way, see, now we have a new uh, seed right here, but this seed will not. So now these, I can't crossbreed in. Well, I can't, I could, but I can't analyze them anyway. So there's no point, but now I have three seeds. We're going to get in more details in that. Maybe next episode, not 100% sure. One other things I'd like to do is I'd like to make some, uh, some sand. Um, and you know, sends can only be made from these skeleton skull. And you see, I'm, I'm already out of skeleton skulls, by the way. Uh, well, not out. I have 54. But what I mean by almost out, I mean that from now on for the skeleton skull, I'm going to need to go and grab some more to make more material. So we're going to have to progress to a point where we don't really need it so much because now we have a cobblestone thing. But you know how cobblestone is past sand, 
If I want sand right now without machines to crush cobblestone, the only solution that I have right now is to um, is to transform bone. So what I'm probably going to do, like I said, I'm going to grab more wood. I'm going to grab a couple of stack of cobblestone, and I'm probably going to try and make 16 sand. And out of those 16 sand, I'm probably going no. I think I'm going to get 32 sand but at least cook 16 or something like that. Like that's kind of the plan that I have because I want to be able to produce stuff for the next episode. So I feel like this is a great start. We found a small island. We have tons of blood around us. We've got our magical crop. We have our cobblestone. We have everything set up to really get into high gear. And the interesting thing is that a lot of the gift that Caitlyn gives in the quest are really helpful to get things started and going really fast. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.
Watching you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 